Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be using the Power XL grill, the Power Smokeless grill, if that's what you guys want to call it. We are going to be cooking up some hamburger and steak. We fried some up the other day and I kind of kept some out so I could do this video for you guys. Can you guys let me know in the comments down below if anybody has used one of these before? We used it a couple times for like pancakes and different things, but um, I don't use it as much as the air fryer. So we'll do more recipes with this, but I think just today we're just gonna fry up some hamburgers and steaks. I think a lot of us with the weekend and the summer and 4th of July that just happened, uh, a lot of, lot of us have been frying out. So we are gonna get started with this. Um, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I already have everything chopped and ready to go. We are gonna be adding vegetables to our grill today also. So I'm kinda gonna be frying everything together. We're gonna use the grill as one source of a cooking thing. We are just gonna be using this today. But I kinda wanted to go over with you guys how to get started with this. Your temp or preheat, you kinda do the same thing with the smokeless grill. But we are going to be adding some water to the base of the grill so I'm gonna be taking some stuff off here and adding the water right in so I'm gonna bring you guys just a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about when I add the water so you just take the cover off your tray can be taken off and then you have this piece right here that can be set off to the side so we're just gonna move this over here and then we also have our one of the trays here we're going to put this off to the side and then down below you have just a little um tray that holds the water and this is what helps cook your food so i'm going to put that back in there oh, i have my tray back in there and I pour my two cups of two cups of water and we are going to put this back together. So on here, it has little arrows where you need to place everything. So this is where your cooking element is gonna be put in. All right, so that's how it's gonna be. And then we're gonna put our tray on. All right, so what we're gonna do is or we're gonna press we're gonna press power preheat to 450. So just keep pushing until you get all the way around to 450. We're gonna let that preheat. I'm gonna turn on the fan. Okay. So I'm gonna put the cover back on so that it collects the heat that we need to start cooking up our steaks and vegetables. Okay, while I'm waiting for it to preheat, I might as well go over what I did with the steak and hamburgers. So I'm just gonna put this off to the side and bring the steak and hamburgers closer. So what I did to the hamburgers is I added the gourmet burger seasoning sauce, so I have that on there. And then for the steak, the other day I poked some holes in it and then I have salt and pepper in it and I put it in a bag and left it in the fridge for about a day. And then I have a dry rub right here. So this is garlic salt, onion, um, paprika, and else did I put in there? I think that's all I put in there. So I'll link it down below what I all put in, but I'm just gonna um, put this all over this steak. I think we're just gonna dry rub it on both sides. So our grill is preheated. I am going to put the hamburgers and the grills 
on the grill and put the vegetables on in just a second. Um, the steak is gonna be cooked five to six minutes on each side and then the hamburger, we're just gonna check it as we go. The vegetables, I'm also gonna check as we go. I don't want them overcooked. Vegetables and the corn, I'm going to spray them down with some oil. With the grill, I'm just gonna spray down just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna check it and see if it's ready to flip. You guys can see that. Ooh, look at how nice that looks. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. I'm gonna close that back up and time it for another five to six minutes. check everything. I moved the steak over a little bit. Um, my timer just went off. Moved my steak over because I didn't want it to be overdone. I just wanted to make sure my hamburgers were going to be cooked all the way through. Just plating up everything over here for my hamburger and then put the vegetables with the steak over here. What I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna put this over here, flip these over, cook them just for a little bit longer. I'm gonna put a full piece of cheese on. I have Monterey Jack. I'm gonna cook that up. We're gonna let the cheese melt and then I think it should be finished. Move that over a little bit. I'm just gonna put these down. I'm not gonna add any butter or anything to them. I'm just gonna throw them on here a second, right next to the hamburgers and steak. That's pretty good inside. If you have a thermometer, you could use a thermometer to make sure that your steak is um, cooked to how well you want it to be cooked. So we're gonna top it with our with our vegetables. And then hold that back a little bit. Turn that on. If you want you can put some butter on, on your um, buns and then that helps make them a little crispy too, but they turn out just fine. Um, so we are going to take these up. Put just a little bit of onion that I had on the grill. We're gonna put some mustard and ketchup on it and you guys can add any topping that you would like. Not a lot of ketchup. I've told you guys in other videos, I'm not a big ketchup person. And I know a lot of you guys were like, what? But don't like a lot of ketchup, so. Okay, so I made two separate meals on the grill. I didn't need to uh, change it out and do other frying pans or anything. I was able to cook both of these um, right away on the grill. So if you have a family of two or four, you're able to get a quite a bit of food on here. If you just wanna cook up some hamburgers, you probably could get one, two, three, 
maybe like 12 or 13 or so hamburgers on here. So if you don't, you know, like for me to go start the grill and get that all going, it's not gonna probably happen as much as I would use this. So um, that's another reason why I wanted to buy this is because I, I can um, help out and make some of the outside stuff. So I'm going to cut into the steak. That is what that looks like. And I'm gonna give the hamburger a try. So the hamburger is so moist inside. It doesn't overcook on this grill. Everything is cooked through and it still tastes as good as cooking on the grill. Okay, so hopefully you guys liked today's video and that was easy enough for you guys to follow if you have any questions or anything with using the smokeless grill just ask me in the comments down below i am on instagram also if you guys want to go over there i try to post uh, daily or every other day some family pictures and stuff um but i do post my videos when they are up and then i also post on facebook also maybe what i can start doing too is on my facebook post i can start putting the recipes and stuff on my facebook post so that you guys can just go over there and get the recipes but i do usually leave them down in the description for you guys to follow if you guys don't want to follow along with the video i always put the recipe down below so hopefully that works and um if you guys have any recipes or anything that you want me to try out in the air fryer or on the grill, just let me know down below. Also, other than that, guys, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.